Andrew Dolph, it's your turn to uh, be grilled. Saeed Kamal, would you like to ask the first question? Andrew, you have said that you're proposing to give away TFL land to a few lucky people to build their own homes. Wouldn't wouldn't you be better, actually, either selling that land to developers for the mass market or leasing the land to sort of the the, the private rental sector, for example, to build on and actually not only provide people with homes, but also provide TFL with income, which it could invest in a better transport system? I want to give away land to self-builders, to the young people at the moment who are deprived of the the prospect or hope of living in London. Because what we've got to do is encourage it to be built on. And those self-built properties will be family properties for individuals. And it's not really... it's giving it away, but it's saying it's putting a lien on the property so that when it actually gets sell, sold, we get the, the value of the money back. And what it does is it increases the number of people who want to build in London. The problem that we've got is that the, the number of developers is reduced down to the big boys. And the big boys are not interested in little scraps of land where you could do your grand designs type self-build, where, where it is actually possible that you could build your home in London for £140,000, which is about the going rate for actually building building a self-built home and not bother about the price of the land. And so all I'm asking of Londoners, uh, uh, young Londoners who who will be given the hope of a home in London, is that you go and get the planning permission, you find the piece of land, get the planning permission, I will give you the land. But how do you determine who gets this land? That's my question, actually, Ian. Oh, well. (laughs) All right, well, go go ahead and ask it. Well, yeah, my question question is, Stephen? Yeah, no, it's absolutely. As Mayor, how would you determine who gets the land for free in self-built development? Well, it's most important that we get this land developed straight away. London has had too many excuses about housing in the future, not housing now. So it will come on a first come, first serve serve basis on the condition that it is developed within a six month period. If it's not, if the development doesn't start within a six month period, then it can go to somebody else. And that's all fine. This scheme is going to be popular. This scheme is going to mean young Londoners have a prospect for a home in London. Somebody identifies a a bit of uh, Brownfield site in Walthamstow. 30 people identify exactly. the same site. Yep. How, how do you decide who gets I it? I just exactly. said, first come, first served, yep. because we need to create competition in the Simple market. Simple as that. We need to get people putting in those bids putting in planning permission, this is a right to build, like the right to buy that has been so successful under previous Conservative governments. This is a right to build of looking at state assets and saying, I could put a home there, I could house my families there, and the state okay. will give us the land unless we decide so and goes, only get the money back when we sell off. So, I, I actually put this out to Twitter to crowdsource the question. Oh, as, as you would. would. <laughs> as, as you would. Uh, and Hippie John, has, Hippie John, I hope I got that right, Hippie John has asked, Andrew, what do you think of Uber? and the environmental impact of TfL allowing 600 new private hire vehicles per week. I think the thing Thank about... Thank you, John. Yeah, I, 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 uh, uh, black cabs are an icon of London and they absolutely have to be encouraged. The problem we've got is customer choices. Customers are choosing not to use black cabs and choose competitions. There are black cab, there are black cab integrated systems like Halo and all the rest of it, and they are showing slow signs of innovation. But I, the, the, the black cab industry should only be content with itself when I, when, when I, calling, summoning a cab as I, as I always do. I always use black cabs. Can pay with a contactless card. It's a simple Would you thing. Subsidise like that. that? Is that something? No, 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 no. I'm not into your idea of, of subsidising things. I think it should absolutely be down to black cabs. You're giving to, away land as a subsidy. No, okay. it's not. It's not yeah, because we get the money back. Right. I'm sorry, we get the money okay, back. Okay. I am not subsidising people. I'm a propertory. And the um, what the um, uh, what the. Uh, uh, Are you saying that Zach Goldsmith is isn't? No, I'm a propertory. Yeah, but that, the implication is that he isn't. Well, you, you, what implication? Like, I'm, a, I'm yeah, just saying I'm a propertory. We've had very civilised hustings for couple of weeks not like your labor ones yeah absolutely but, that, nice. but i mean that you must have had drawn the same implication from that as no, i did hey, of course you did here, 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 that's what he thought you meant well, the idea Sorry that i would sub- the idea that i would subsidize would 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 make me not a proper tory wouldn't it what is a proper tory and incidentally can i say no, what, what's a proper tory somebody who uh, wants to give people a hand up and not a hand out and but, a subsidy but Andrew, is a hand I have to out. tell you on this issue you're completely wrong because it is not a free market the black cab no. is, uh, well, just hear me out no, no, the black let me cabs, if you black let me cabs finish, I'll are required for example to put very to, to have cars with very expensive tanks yes they are that's a requirement by law so they're required to do things that make it more expensive for them than anyone Absolutely. else and therefore you could say that enabling them to have contactless payment systems in every single black cab which by the way I would do because I think we should help them compete more mm. 
value with Uber is actually a very small subsidy in the context of the costs actually, that we impose on the black people. Some of them already do have Uber. Just to clear this up. Just to clear this up. Just to clear this up. Do, do you stand by that? Do you think Zach Goldsmith is not a proper Tory? I did not say Zach Goldsmith say that. was. I you said say the that. idea was. He thought you said it. I thought you said it. I'm well, pretty sure Stephen and Said thought you I said would, it. I wouldn't dream it of that. Can I, can I point out, Ian, these are all my mates here. Just think what I'm going to be like with the Labour Party. These are my mates. Okay. And I am not, I'm, I, I, I'm not saying that Zach isn't a proper Tory. I'm saying the I idea down. of using taxpayers' money. I'm hearing the sound of retreat here, Andrew. Back on the fence. <laughs> Go on, anyway, let's move on. Let's move. Uh, no. no, let's go and talk to. Um,